Have you ever wondered if your assorted health conditions or symptoms that are plaguing you might actually be rooted in a parasitic infection or parasites in your body? I know that this topic is so gross and cringeworthy and nobody really wants to think about parasites living in your body. But the truth is the likelihood is high that you might be dealing with or have dealt with in the past a parasitic invasion. So I'm gonna share with you 20 signs and symptoms that indicate you might currently have a parasitic infection that needs to be treated and addressed. So let's dig into today's highly informative, yes, cringeworthy, but absolutely necessary video. Parasites actually affect billions of us. On average, we're looking at three to six billion people every year who suffer from an assortment of parasitic invasions from soil, insect bites, water sources, animal contact, and even food. Parasitic infections are way more common or normal than you might think. And these 20 signs are definitely things I want you to think about. It might not be a bad idea to pull out your phone, your note tab, or even a piece of paper and notate the signs I'm gonna be going through because if you have five to 10 of these signs, symptoms all together, this is definitely a good chance that you might have an extensive parasitic invasion. The number one sign of a parasitic invasion in your body is an assortment of digestive gastro problems. So lower GI and kind of mid GI problems where you have abdominal pain, cramping, bloating, foul gas, and even diarrhea and or constipation or that combination. It's not uncommon that this sometimes comes in the bundle of what we call IBS, but if it's chronic and or in intermittent, this is definitely a sign of some parasites. Number two, episodes of nausea, particularly episodes of vomiting. Random, it's not related to any type of illness and you just feel nauseous, you're not pregnant and you didn't eat anything bad, you don't have food poisoning. That's definitely a sign. Number three, and this tends to be on the subclinical side, but you have anemia and low red blood cell counts, low ferritin, low total iron, where you have fatigue and weakness and you have pale skin, especially if you pull your eyelids down and look at your gums and even your nails. If it's not red and you know a good color of pink and it's pale, that's definitely a sign that you might have anemia related to these parasites stealing your blood. Are inflamed joints and sore inflamed muscles where you have pain and swelling, regardless if you've had any activities or done any workouts, but you have this chronic state of pain and swelling and, and joint and muscle aches. Number five is an array of vision problems. And these are really unique. It could be blurred vision. It could be eye pain. It could even be frequent tearing of your lenses and even the kind of noticeable feeling like there's something in your eye. This goes beyond floaters, not eye floaters. That's a little bit of a different scenario. If you're curious about eye floaters, I have a video. I'll post a description box below. A common eye condition is going to be sensitivity to light and even redness of the eye itself. Not pink eye, but just overall tissue inflammation of the eye. Number six is an assortment of dental problems, particularly gum problems or swelling of the tongue or the gums, even mouth sores, toothaches, as well as unusual signs of dental decay, meaning it doesn't follow kind of the typical suit. So meaning if you have two teeth together, sometimes both will have decay. It sometimes even wraps inside the tooth. Just be mindful and it might be something to ask your dentist about if you have your next dental filling. Number seven is a whole array of skin problems from lumps and bumps to redness to hives, as well as uneven skin pigmentation. And this is gonna gross you out, but even tracks. You can even see kind of like under the dermal layer, the tracks of parasites. Not everybody has it, but it's definitely something to be aware of. They're not always stretch marks, they might be parasitic tracks. Skin infections, skin rashes, and ulcers also fall in this category. Number eight is unexplained weight loss, where you haven't been sick, but you are starting to lose weight and you're not doing anything differently. This also pairs up with folks that have deficiencies in nutrients or have malnutrition, signs of malnutrition. Some common signs of malnutrition is going to be hair loss, brittle nails, 
as well as skin that looks dull. Number nine is experiencing fatigue and weakness or overall kind of malaise and, and lethargy. Number 10 is experiencing a fever or flu-like symptoms that triggers an immune response. And this could be, you could have fever, you could have chills, you could have headaches, and even this overall kind of cold flu-like symptom of malaise. 11 are skin rashes that are particularly itchy. Sometimes they're hives that are itchy and or blistering skin. And this could be on the feet, it could be on your abdomen, it could be on your scalp. So be very mindful of itchy skin and specifically what it looks like. Number 12 is you might have more allergic reactions. Generally, allergic reactions that are parasitic involved are going to be hives, swelling, coughing, and any type of redness of the skin or soft tissue. Number 13 can be really tricky because parasites can cause neurological symptoms. These invaders can actually impact your central nervous system. It's not uncommon that parasites can cause seizures. It's not uncommon for individuals to experience sensory disturbances. They may also be confused or show signs of coordination problems. Number 14 is a big one for us ladies, and it is periods that are crampy periods and riddled with heavy blood flow. Yes, I said it, it's very common, and I have several instances in my own clinical practice where I've had women who've had just overnight changes to their menstrual cycle after traveling abroad, Sure enough, I put them on a parasite protocol and boom, they pass a parasite and their periods go back to normal. Number 15, this is a really common one as a lymphatic therapist, but I have patients that have lymph node involvement where a lymph node gets overwhelmed, inflamed, and it's very random because there's nothing going on in that part of their body, but they have one lymph node or a series of lymph nodes that are inflamed and that are charged up. That is an immune response to a parasitic invasion. 16 can be really annoying for patients and it is an unexplained fever because you end up going through the battery of tests, everything comes back negative, but you're still feeling this underlying fever. So it's important that we address the underlying root cause is that your immune system is overwhelmed with a parasite or a parasitic invasion, an infection of multiple parasites, and your immune response is this fever. And because we can't get rid of the parasite, you just constantly have this fever as the immune system is trying to attack it unsuccessfully. Number 17 is you might experience night sweats at night. You might wake up in a cold pool of sweat, you might soak your jammies or undershirts, and it might be an experience that is problematic that wakes you up at night. Which leads us to number 18. It's not uncommon to have sleep problems, sleep imbalances, insomnia, waking up at night feeling uncomfortable, sometimes from the night sweats, and just overall inflamed and feeling yucky. Number 19 is being diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. A lot of times underlying chronic fatigue syndrome are parasites. And 20 is actually having itchiness around your vulva or your anus. And that is a sign of sometimes microscopic parasites that might be exiting your body. I know this sounds really crazy and gross and disgusting and oh my gosh, it's unimaginable, but parasites are something we need to address. We checked over five or 10 or more of these 20 symptoms or signs of parasites, then our, my next video in the next few weeks will be highly impactful because I'm gonna share with you a powerful resource to eradicate parasites from your body. This is a tried and true, very simple, but highly impactful protocol where we can eradicate nearly any type of parasite. And I've had some patients who had parasites that have exited the body and have taken that parasite to an infectious disease doctor and they've never seen any type of parasite like this. So don't be surprised and alarmed as we go through a healing journey, they might actually witness and see some of these things evacuating. Yes, it's gross, but it's better they're out and not in because they are making you feel sick. And if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, these 20 signs might help point you in the right direction for a treatment plan. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comment box below any questions you might have about, about parasites, what you might wanna know in our next video, and how I can be helpful for you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on our next video.